गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम वंस अगेन नाउ वी आर गोइंग फॉर कंटिन्यू द मेकिंग ऑफ ग्लोबल वर्ल्ड चैप्टर फोर इन यूपी बोर्ड क्लास टेंथ नाउ इफेक्ट ऑफ द डोमेस्टिक इकोनॉमी ऑफ द फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड वॉर द वर्ल्ड वॉर हैड लेट टू इंक्रीज इन डिमांड ऑफ प्रोडक्शन नाउ एंड एम्प्लॉयमेंट बट जर्नली हेयर वैन द वॉर एंडेड प्रोडक्शन वॉज क्रिटिकल एंड अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इंक्रीज the war expenditure were also reduced development led to huge unemployment in 1921 now many agricultural economies were also crisis during the war australia canada and america expand agricultural production especially wheat after the war was production in eastern europe revived and was surplus wheat in the market grains prices fell and ruler income declined farmers fell into debt large scale production and consumption the war had helped in expansion of economy us soon after the war of us assembly line production one of the important feature of us economy in 1920 was mass production it was characteristic feature of industrial production in us Henry Ford the car manufacturer was the pioneer mass production he had seen the assembly line in now slaughter house in chicago in which the slaughter animals were picked apart by butchers as they came down as the conveyor belt he adopted the assembly line method now economy boom us 1920 ford practices soon spread to the other parts of us and europe as a result of mass production cost got reduced now the worker with higher wages started purchasing durable consumer goods such as cars cars production increased for 2 millions to 5 millions during the period of 19 to 1929 similarly more and more people started purchasing refrigerator washing machine radio gramophones player all through system of higher purchases in which credit was rapid in weekly monthly installment construction of house and home ownership finance against by loan now in 1923 us become the largest overseas lender with its help recovery of europe and the world trade become faster now great depression the great uh, economic depression started in 1929 at last till the mid 1913 it came it into existence due to variety of factor the production decline and large scale unemployment made lives people miserable effect of the great depression on the ruler segment it means the agricultural prices fell further farms produce rooted become the there were no buyers in the market withdrawal of us loan now by 1929 the investment fell into one fourth of the previous year and 1 billion dollar in 1921 the countries had taken loan from us and faced acute financial crisis when us withdrew her loans affected many countries some of the major banks failed in europe value of pound here the value of the pound sterling also fell us banks reduced domestic loans and began taking back loans now how to great depression affected india india also faced the acute acute and re recuperation of the great economic depression colonial india was exporter of agriculture goods and importer of the manufactured goods as a result the depression in india export and import fell by half between 1928 1934 and the prices also started falling the prices of wheat fell by 50% this worsened the condition of the poor peasants the attitude of colonial government remained strict and it did not reduce revenue demand now bags fell in the international markets now second world war and the rebuilding of world economy wearing nation the second world war broke out in 1939 20 years after the first world war it was fought between the axis power germany italy and japan 
and allies England, France and Soviet Union US. It continued till 1945 was fought on the many fronts on land, air and water. Once again the world witnessed death and destruction. Nearly 3% of the world population in 1939 perished in the war. Millions of more were injured. Here it is the second war mentioning that during the second world war civilians were more unfortunate than the soldiers oh, common peoples died now in the great numbers post war reconstruction now after the war two major factor influence post war reconstruction one was the emergence of us leader of western world political economic and military fields second was emergence ussr as a dominant power it has re resisted the major onslaught of the nazis on the eastern front and during the second world war during the interwar year post war settlement and britain woods institution now it help it means the production means mass of consumption and this system means stable income and stable income meant full employment now the second lesson was related to the country economic links with the outside world and the governments had control flow of goods and capital labor in order to ensure full employment aims of post war reconstruction the main aim of the government was to preserve economic stability and full employment industrial world and after the war was united nation monetary and financial conference was held in july 1944 and britain boards in a new hemisphere in usa to agree upon the framework economic reconstruction outcome of britain boards conference Bretton Woods Conference established the International Monetary Fund (IMF) and the International Mon Bank of Reconstruction and Development, popularly known as the World Bank. These institutions together are called the Bretton Woods Institution or the Bretton Woods Woods Twins. Here you have to see the Mount Washington Hotel situated at Bretton Woods, U.S., where the famous conference was held. Now they started the operating in December 1947 western industrial power controlled the decision making process and US has veto power over the decision of these two institution and Britain Woods system was based on fixed exchange rate in this system national currencies were pegged to the dollar at a fixed rate the dollar was linked to a gold and fixed price of 35 dollar per ounce of gold the early years after the war achievements of britain boards initial year now between 1950 1917 the world trade grew and 8% of the incomes of the rate of 5% to at the same time unemployment figures was less than the 5% and most developed countries some of the growth like the western europe and japan become the less independence on the these institution technology and enterprises spread worldwide independence of the colonies like here some of the exchange range in now exchange rate fixed exchange rate floating exchange rate and the tariff now imf the world bank were formed to meet financial need of the industrial countries so they were not designed to cope with challenges of poverty now it help and given to the loan to the developing country now new most of developing countries did not benefit from fast growth which the western countries had experienced in 1950 1960 so therefore organized the themselves as the group of g77 to demand new international economic order it is the neo the neo uh, demanded the countries should have control over the economic resource and fairer price for raw materials and of the britain boards and the beginning of the globalization now in 1917 the international financial system changed and earlier the developing countries could borrow from international institution but now they had borrow from western commercial bank and private leading institution it led debt crisis lower incomes and objective poverty particularly in africa and latin america 
now some of the multinational corporation started operating those countries whose wages were low china and india were such countries the mnc either place order of the goods in the low wages countries open their own production and these countries the relation uh, recollection of industries to low wages countries and promoted the world trade and capital flow many countries like india china brazil underwent rapid economic changes